Hi, this is Asing. Today I would like to share the Macrolin series of e to the power of sine x. So first, we we'll let fx be e sine x. So as usual, we substitute when x equal to 0. Sine 0 is equal to 0. e to the power of 0, we obtain 1. Then we differentiate with respect to x. We differentiate e x, we obtain e x. So replace sine x, then we differentiate sine x, we should obtain cos x. Substitute 0 again, cos x is equal to 1. So 1 times 1 equal to 1. We press it to the second derivative. So we have to apply the product rule. So we let u be e sine x cos b phi. So when we apply the product rule, we have u dv dx plus v du dx so again when we differentiate e sine x we obtain the first derivative so e sine x cos x we can simplify here so e sine x cos times cos we have cos square x minus sine x Again, substitute into substitute x equal to 0 into the function. So we have e to the power of 0 obtain 1. So 1 times cos square 0. So cos 0 is 1. 1 square 1 minus sine 0, 0. So 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 times 1, still 1. Okay, then next. Okay, let u be e sine x and this part be v. Again, apply product rule. So we have u e sine x differentiate v, we have power bring down. 2 cos x, then differentiate using chain rule, we obtain negative sine x. So differentiate negative sine x, we obtain negative cos x. Okay, then plus phi, phi is cos square x minus sine x. Then we differentiate e sine x again. Means that we will obtain this again. So we have e sine x cos x. Okay, since we have the common terms here, as we can see, e sine x, e sine x. So we take out e sine x. And we can see we have cos x, cos x, and cos x. So we take out cos x. Okay, so remain 2 times negative. So negative 2 sine x minus sine x. So minus 3 sine x. Okay, then this part cos is already take out left only 1. So this part will be equal to 1. So minus 1, then we plus. Okay, this one settle here, left only this part. So plus cos square x. Okay, so we substitute. Okay, so this is 1 times 1. Then 0 minus 1 
plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 offset each other so this part is 0 0 times 1 we obtain 0 okay we differentiate another time so we have the fourth derivative we will let this be u and this be v so u we can refer to the similar part which is the first derivative so if let's say we differentiate this part we will obtain this so this is du dx for this case okay and we start so we have u differentiate we we obtain sine cos minus 1 differentiate no more then we take down the power cos x differentiate cos is negative sine x then we plus v du so du obtain from here Okay, if we wish to differentiate again, then it's better for us to simplify. If not, then we can leave it here because our intention is to get the value at the point x equal to 0. Meaning to say, simplify or not is not our concern. Okay, so let's substitute when x equal to 0. So this part is equal to 1. Then we have this part is negative 3. So this part, since we have sine 0, is 0. So this part is 0. This part, we have negative 3 times x0 zero is 0. So this part can also be eliminated. So we have negative 1 here plus cos 0 is 1. So minus 1 plus 1, no more. So the right terms we can remove. So we left only the left terms. Okay, then we have 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Okay, then we can form the Macrolin series. So e sine x is equal to f0 is 1. So 1 over 0 factorial times x to the power 0 plus, okay, first derivative also 1 over 1 factorial times x to the power 1. Then we plus second derivative we have. 1 also so 1 over 2 factorial times x to the power of 2 then the third derivative is equal to 0 so 0 over 3 factorial times x to the power of 3 then we plus the fourth derivative we have negative 3 over 4 factorial x to the power of 4 and so on okay then we calculate so 1 over 0 factorial is 1 plus x plus 1 over 2 x squared. The fourth term is 0. Then we minus 3 over 24, which is 1 over 8. x to the power 4 and so on. Then we done. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.